where are they now? Horses that thrilled us over the years at Emerald Downs dot the landscape all around Washington State, thriving in varied second careers. It's been nearly 20 years since Queen of Dixie Reds began her racing career, but breeder Barbara Meeking remembers her well. How can she forget? She's reminded by a steady stream of winners for Allaire Farms at Emerald Downs. Meeking was there for the foaling and for sales prep the next year. You get them all ready for the sale, and of course, when she bumped her knee and it was all swollen, we were very disappointed. But we had it x-rayed at the sale, and uh, it wasn't broken. It was just, you know, it was going to be okay. And this trainer kept coming back and coming back, and I had a groom that, uh, well, he was really a nice guy, but he never stopped talking, and I said, you mustn't give your opinion, you must just answer questions. And so uh, they kept saying, uh, is she this, is she that? And they wanted to know how come she was so uh, well-mannered and, and the trainer said, is she broke? This is where some miscommunication crept in. Dennis Ward was that trainer and ended up buying Queen of Dixie Reds, her name coming from a Yakima establishment. Big body, big giant size quarter horse looking silly. Of course that's that's the kind of horse that looked like when I go, go for the sale anyway, a big quarter horse. She was a sweetheart. She was just like having a saddle horse in the barn. She did everything right. Big, good looking filly. The miscommunication? Meeking's groom told Ward that the breaking process had been done. Meeking remembers hearing the story later from Ward. Here's this horse who has never been ridden in her life, never had a saddle on, much less a person. He took her right away from the uh, sale to the racetrack and uh, they put her on the walker and she she obeyed that and then uh, they saddled her up in the stall and she was a little cinchy but uh, she came right along when the trainer let her out and he said I'll take her to the gap. Queen of Dixie Red's calm demeanor saved the day but it was a trying first experience for that exercise rider. He thought he'd never get her going and she finally trotted a little and he finally got her into a canter and when he came back to the barn, the trainer said, how did she go? And he said, this is the darndest horse. I couldn't get her going. I kept on it and on it and on it. Meeking bred a fast filly and Ward had picked her out. She had a lot of speed when we was, when we was breaking her in Yakima and uh, I mean, I knew she was going to win her first out. I didn't know about the second in Seattle. Queen of Dixie Reds found more, and inside the final furlongs dashed right away from Vito Proof and Skippers Chabasco, and Queen of Dixie Reds has it all won. Queen of Dixie Reds a big winner, down to the wire by six lengths. She followed up that allowance score with a runner-up finish to return call in the Children's Hospital stakes. Queen of Dixie Reds won in California the next year, and when retirement time came, Meeking was first in line. Her first three foals won at Emerald Downs, including Ida Bettabuck, who won seven races here and seven at other tracks, too. One of her special babies uh, was uh, Nancy Perkins, who, who herself is a, a broodmare now, and we're very pleased with her. Nancy Perkins flashed her big speed for seven Emerald Downs wins, trained by Barbara's husband, Bob Meeking. And down inside the furlong pole, it's been a one-act affair. Nancy Perkins has got this really well and truly won. It is going to be a nice win for Nancy Perkins. Nancy Perkins has had three foals bred by Allaire, the oldest a juvenile this year. Queen of Dixie Reds? She isn't done after six Emerald Downs winners, and there's a juvenile this year. She has produced a lot of nice horses for us, and we always think of her quite lovingly.